The Big 12 championship game is Saturday at high noon. It is Texas. It is Oklahoma State, which if it's in Dallas means it's an 11 a.m. local kick. Well, well, well. There was, there was one person on that island that I was on in August. I could yell as loud as I wanted to, and all I got was hatred from offshore. And I was yelling out there, Texas and Oklahoma State, Big 12 championship game. And they just torched and pitchforked me. Well, who's yelling on the island now? I'm still all alone. But who's yelling over here? It's me. It's me. This does not bode well for Oklahoma State. So I want to get as much celebration as I can out of the way. Uh, Alan Bowman at quarterback, going to need the game of his life. He has to shine. He, the good news, the good news, I guess, to start this off is he does have 300-plus yards passing in three of his last four games. I would love to stop the preview there, but I am dutifully informed that he has six interceptions in his last three games as well. Now, there are a few truths in an uncertain world, but one of them is Oklahoma State cannot be losing the turnover battle in a game where they are over a two-touchdown underdog and stand any chance to win. I'd be very surprised if Texas offensively didn't just go off in this game. It's the, they just came off their best offensive game of the year against Texas Tech. Uh, here are some disconcerting numbers that Stats and Info have provided me. Oklahoma State, 105th in rush yards per game allowed. Oklahoma State, 113th in pass yards per game allowed. Oklahoma State, 126th in explosive plays allowed. Texas is the best wide receiver tight end combo they will have faced all year. I am very concerned, greatly concerned. Unless Texas shoots both feet, they can't just shoot themselves in one foot, both feet. Unless they do that, they're going to have a lot of success which means Oklahoma State's either going to have to force a bunch of red zone stops, force turnovers, or they're going to have to score 40 themselves. Let's go back to the red zone. Texas fans know all too well that the way Texas shoots itself in the foot, the way Texas pulls its own emergency break, is they stall in the red zone. Texas offensively is 107th when they get down there, but Oklahoma State's defense is in the 60s. So there's really no strength on weakness matchup there either. Oklahoma State's offense is 46th in the red zone. Texas has got the best red zone D in the country. So I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to find the mismatch. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the ray of sunshine here, and it's Ollie Gordon. It's that running back for Oklahoma State. He leads FBS in rushing yards. And every time I think I see something, there's this follow-up. And the follow-up in this case is Oklahoma State's got the best running back at least statistically, in college football, Texas is top five against the run. So have I, have I, um, have I intrigued you enough to at least look at what the model thinks? Texas is favored by 14 and a half at FanDuel. I would think that number is going to keep going up. The model has Texas minus 16. I felt strongly that Texas was about to blow out Texas Tech last week. I feel fairly good that Texas is going to win and get some margin here. So I am going to go with the model. I'm going to take Texas to win. I think they're going to cover very good story for Oklahoma State. But I think a lot of folks from like um, Eugene or Seattle or Tuscaloosa or elsewhere, I think a lot of folks were pulling for Brigham Young last week because I think you wanted Oklahoma in this game. Not because it guaranteed anything, not because you're a Sooner fan, but you know good and well. The only team that's got as good a chance as any of beating Texas out there is Oklahoma. And once Oklahoma State came back and beat Brigham Young, Texas, they made sure they got to somewhere where no one could hear them, and they said, yes! And then they got back out in front of the camera and microphone and said, nameless, faceless opponent, doesn't matter, we treat every game the same. Uh, That's a lie. You guys know you got a favorable draw here. Not your fault. Uh, You did exactly what you're supposed to do. And I think they will continue at Texas to do what they're supposed to do. I think they will win and cover Saturday.